Camtasia 2021 provided support for what are called LUTs. And you can think of LUTs as like just predefined color filters or color enhancements or something of that nature. In Camtasia, we can add a colorize or color adjustment feature and things like that. And yeah, I mean, it's okay, but adding LUTs lets us add just a whole bunch of other stuff into the mix. So here, you know, I have kind of a cool video clip. It's a aerial drone scene, and this is the color situation as it exists currently. So yeah, it's kind of nice to like get, but one of the things I can do now is right click, go to add visual effect and add me a color LUT. When you do that, it will add the effect, color LUT, and it will also apply the default enhanced contrast. So let's just see what that looks like. If I switch it off, watch the image here, switch it off, boom. Okay, that's a little more washed out. This color enhanced contrast is a filter that, as you notice there, boom, it just really popped the color out, didn't it? Right? And of course you have an intensity button, you can play with that. But Camtasia comes with a few different settings like this. So as you roll over these, it will preview them. So that's Arabica 12, that's Ava 614. You notice that really pops the color out. And there are hundreds and hundreds of them out there. A lot of them are free. These are from our buddy Peter Gilbert at callouts.com. I think that, uh, there's a free set of those. In fact, I will put that in the links with the replay. Peter has a nice little collection here. And as you can see, what it does is, in a lot of cases, I don't know, let's see, can we find one? If we find one that is really kind of muted down, it might be something we would apply like this if we want to de-emphasize the background to put text on top, right? So that's one of the potential uses for it. Uh, other than that, then of course just, you know, adding uh, an enhancing color gives a very nice professional, uh, they call it like a cinematic effect, okay? And Zenimax 2.0 has, oh gosh, I don't even know how many. They are in what is a .cub file format. Those are color LUTs. Don't ask me why it's a LUT, but it's a cube. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, the main offer here has 113 of these things. Now, one other tip that I'll give you is, like I say, there are hundreds of these things out there. I might not want to have hundreds and hundreds of these. As you can tell, uh, some of them are pretty dramatic, some of them are useful, some I might not care about. Some are maybe very much like another one. Okay, so what you can do is when you want to add these in, uh, just scroll down to the bottom of whatever list you have here and go to Import LUT File. Then what you do is you look for your cube files, you can click on them. There is no preview available there, so I don't know. Uh, and then import them. Um, but over time, maybe pick the ones you like, right? And then remove the ones that you don't want. Okay, so you have a little more manageable list. I haven't really thought that through that much or tested that many of them, but that's kind of my take on that, right? So. Here's one of my favorite photos of all of us siblings, my brother and my sister. Right off the bat, let's add us a color enhancement. Visual effect, color light, nice, boom, pop. Right, so it's even cooler. Uh, and then other things I might use, use them for. See, that would make a great background, wouldn't it? A lot of amateur mistake in especially using images and videos and stuff like that is just you know leaving the camera the way it is okay you can tell it looks like it was shot on a phone or something right uh, but when you start adding these kinds of cinematic effects well things start to get more interesting 
you know, in a hurry. All right, enough on that. 